so I decided to set my camber with the uh, wheels off the ground. Uh, I've actually done the left side. This is the right side. Um, I've had a think about this, and just because of what happened to me on the left side with the uh, the sort of um, cam washer rounding off, I'm sure it wouldn't happen again. And I've had my car adjusted by garages before, and it's never been a problem. But it just got me thinking about setting the initial angle a bit tighter so that the car wasn't quite so unhappy. I know all these kind of things would be sold if I just took it to a garage, but it got me thinking, it got me experimenting in my mind, and that's what I like, is solving problems. So this is the camber, is the front um, bolt here that we've got to, well, not that we've got to undo, and then we can adjust the camber from there. Now, if you're going to do it with the wheels off the ground, you've got to level the vehicle. So uh, I'm kind of starting again from scratch today. So I've got a kind of center point here with a um, spirit level and also I bought one of these cheap gauges off of Amazon which is um, just gives you an angle uh, I've got something kind of right, right you know this is as level as I can get it on here don't know if the car's completely level you know what I mean from this point but it's as level as I'm going to get it and so we can see that we're like a tilted uh, in that direction up a bit one degree so if I can get that nearer to much closer to naught degrees, then we've got a good chance of setting the cam roughly right. Okay, so once we've got it nice and stable and kind of looking at a good angle, we're gonna, so the spirit level's also complying and giving me kind of a nice level. And now we know that this is kind of level, I'm gonna jack up to ride height, which is 466 mil, and then we will check the camber at that point and see where we are. Right, so I'm jacked up there, I've adjusted here, and then I've checked that my spirit level's level and the thing, the other gauge is within a very small uh, percentage, you know, 0 point something. Okay, I know that I need my uh, camber is set to thir minus 30 minutes, plus or minus 45 minutes, so, so it's minus 30 minutes, it's minus half a degree, so this reads in degrees on the old camber gauge, so I've got that. Uh, I'm going to just show you how to zero this. So what you've got to do is find a square edge, which I know this is, uh, my toolbox, and then you've got a spirit level in the top, um, which you have to get level. And then you can adjust a little thing underneath, and we're just going to get it so that the bubble, according to me, may not look right on camera, will be in the center between the naught, which it pretty much is. So that gives me, I don't know, it's, I'm probably going out of focus here, but so I've got this in, into the center, so it's kind of should be reading naught with the bubble in the middle between the naught one either way. Uh, I think that's correct. Again, tell me if it's wrong. Then we're going to go and take it over to the car. The advantage I've got this time is that I have um, replaced the brake disc, so there, the surface that it can actually go onto. Exactly the same process here where we're going to pop this on to the disc. I'm lucky that I've got brand new discs. This is why I felt that I could do this. Um, and then we're gonna just make sure that we are nice and level. Okay, so when we've got the gauge on there and aligned, we can see that we've got about two degrees of camber, which is, is too much. It should be, so it's one and a half degrees too much. Uh, it should be 0 0.5. So the bubble should be between the naught and the one. Um, we'll look at the actual proper values that it gives you in minutes and things, but this is converted. So uh, degrees and minutes and hours and all that kind of stuff, it's a bit confusing, but you can convert it. You can even convert it into millimeters and inches, which you'll see on other sort of videos on YouTube about camber adjusting, but that is what it is. Um, I've got my, this is the thing, I've got the electric thing. Problem is it, the light goes out. So if you get it kind of, sort of a light, light level with the spirit level, you can see it's giving me 88.94, so it's near enough two degrees. Um, I don't know if, if you can see that, but it does say 88.94. So I'm not using this so much to get anal about, but I'm gonna use the bubble to get as close as possible because I don't really wanna go mad on, you're never gonna get it exactly, exactly according to this. And probably the only way you're gonna get it really accurate is by laser wheel alignment anyway from a garage. So adjusting, it's quite stiff, but I'm just gonna do it sort of a little bit at a time and see whether I can get the bubble to move around.
once you've got it adjusted like that, the trick now is to tighten it up again without it moving. Um, so we're just going to do that and then I'll check it again once we've tightened it up. Of course, you've got that plus or minus bit. So um, if it moves a little tiny bit, don't worry. Um, but we're going to try and sort of do it up as tight as we can without moving it around. And then we'll torque the bolt and that should be the camber adjustment done on this side. Clicky click and then double check that we haven't moved around and there you have it setting the camber on a discovery three uh, using a kind of wheel off the ground rough technique that hopefully gets me within good ballpark of what the camber should be it doesn't cause excessive tire wear before i get the alignment done right that's it really isn't it stop stop <laughs> 